This year's surge in homicides in Oakland is leaving families grieving and police scrambling to respond. And just how many of these killings are being solved is something that KTVU investigative reporter Evan Cernofsky looked into. He explains why solving cases is crucial in reducing violence. At night, these streets in Oakland often become battle zones between warring groups, where gunfire and death rage out of control. As of Friday, 119 people have been killed, a toll not seen in a decade, leaving residents and city leaders aghast. A senseless act of violence in our community continues to sicken me. But part of stopping the bloodshed requires law enforcement to catch the killers. So just how many of these homicides are being solved? We asked Oakland police for the numbers. Of the 119 killings so far this year, 29 have been solved. Police cleared an additional 11 cases from previous years. That's an overall 33% clearance rate. By comparison, San Francisco has cleared 87% of homicides from just this year. And according to the State Department of Justice, California has averaged a 62% clearance rate over the last decade. Every department would love for to have a 100% clearance rate. Oakland Police Chief Leron Armstrong pleaded with his community at a press conference Friday. He stressed that police can't do the work alone. I really think it's a joint effort uh, that police will do everything we can with every resource we have. But at the end of the day, it really is community that has to say that this type of violence is not tolerable. The violence shows no signs of slowing down. Three people were shot in a 10-hour span on Wednesday and Thursday. In another case Thursday, police reported 198 shots fired on 89th Avenue in East Oakland. Effective investigations that can quickly identify and bring to justice individuals involved in these events can reduce the potential for future retaliatory violence. Eric Pisa is a professor at John Jay College in Manhattan and the former chief crime analyst for the Newark, New Jersey Police Department. He said strong relationships between police and communities is essential for catching those perpetrators. We've seen firsthand the strain between police and American communities, particularly the communities that suffer from high crime rates. Chief Armstrong has pledged to try to mend that fractured relationship with so many communities that are suffering from this violence. In Oakland, Evan Cernofsky, KTVU, Fox 2 News.